Hey guys, how you going? So, uh, I thought I'd start a, a new little series uh, about some of the stuff I hear on BBC Radio 4. This one comes from uh, Woman's Hour. Uh, it's Tuesday the 10th of August and uh, this little section was about exams. So, uh, first of all, let's, uh, let's have a listen. And the very best of luck with your course next year. Uh, Gronia, of course, uh, you. university places aren't for everybody and there has been a big move, a big push towards apprenticeships, um, BTECs and, you know, in the future T-levels. There perhaps is a stereotypical idea that apprenticeships, apprenticeships are male dominated. Is that an old fashioned view? Oh, heaven forbid that apprenticeships should be male dominated. Uh, such an old fashioned view indeed. Well, it's really interesting, actually. We recently did some research into the T levels and the sign ups that we that they've had for the male and the male and female um, students on there. That's a course and that so starts you, in September. Yes. So when you look at uh, digital and construction, those courses are predominantly male, with over ninety percent of those courses right. taken up with male students. But in the childcare T level, we see the reverse, with ninety five percent of those students are female, and Obviously. Now, do you think this is going to be a problem for Women's Hour that men go into construction and that women go into childcare? And if it is, drop in the comments below, why do you think that could possibly be a problem? You know, when we look down to the detail provider by provider, half of the providers offering digital have no women enrolled at all. Oh my God. And then for the edge childcare side, over half offering childcare have no male students and you know you might say well, why does this matter but when you look at the the salaries the expected earnings for students who then who um, graduate from these courses there's a real difference between what you can expect to earn in construction compared to what you can expect to earn if you work in childcare. yeah why do you think that is could it be that construction is far more physical far more technical far more demanding far more dangerous uh, I'm not I'm not sure how many people have uh, have died in the uh, childcare industry um, but I'm pretty sure lots of people die in the construction industry and if you've ever been to a building site you might see up those uh, signs which tell you about all of the protective equipment uh, that you have to wear uh, hard hats steel toe cap shoes gloves and depending on the uh, job that you've got going on on the construction site welding equipment heavy overalls chemical protection uh, I'm not sure that there's much of that in the childcare industry, but, you know, I'm not an expert. Anyway, let's listen. And I think, you know, this is something that indicates not just a problem with how how we recruit for these courses, but also how we, we view and we value these professions. You know, if salaries were different, would we see different take-up? It's, you know, it's something that... If salaries were different. So there's three ways that the salary, well, in my opinion, there's three ways the salaries could be different. So either you just pay construction workers a lot less and you end up with a lot of annoyed construction workers. You pay childcare assistants a hell of a lot more and you end up with a seriously expensive childcare sector, sector that working parents can no longer afford. Or you average them out in the middle and you end up with uh, annoyed workers and an overly expensive childcare sector. So I'm not really sure how they would address the pay, uh, but maybe I don't understand that because I'm part of the patriarchy and this is Woman's Hour. I think we really need to think about how to address. Uh, that's really interesting, particularly as T-levels are a new course that's starting in September. I mean, you know, university courses, I think we would struggle these days to find a university course where no women or no men were taking the course. Exactly, and we were, we were really hoping that these might be, you know, the new future. It's mm. going to, to be something that will appeal to a, a wider range of students. And unfortunately, if we just see the same old stereotypical tropes of that sort of student going into that to study that course, then it's you know it's disappointing. Mm. So there you go. It's uh, it's disappointing that men want to do construction work and women want to do childcare work. Um, and that just because these new T levels that the British government has brought in or the British education system that has brought in, uh, they assumed because they were a different type of level, 
uh, a different type of qualification. They're, they're technical qualifications. So it's um, college in the UK. So in America, that's high school. And it's the last two years of high school. Uh, you can now take T levels, which are basically technical A levels. So A levels are academic and T levels are technical. Um, for things like childcare, construction, IT, etc. And Woman's Hour, in all of its infinite wisdom, has decided that that is problematic um, because egalitarianism cannot be let stand. We cannot have free choice because free choice allows people to make up their own minds. And if you let people make up their own minds, then a society will become more and more divided. We see this all over, uh, and Jordan Peterson has uh, pointed this out, that uh, in some of the Nordic countries, the most egalitarian um, countries on earth, they actually saw an increase in the wage gap. Because when you allow people to go into the careers they want to do, men tend to gravitate towards more risky, higher paying work, and women tend to gravitate towards more um, caring emotional work, uh, which doesn't unfortunately pay as much because there isn't as much money in those sectors. But anyway, guys, that's my thoughts for the day. Don't forget, my book is available on Amazon and Kindle. Sophie, check it out uh, if you haven't yet. Uh, you can download it free of charge through um, uh, Prime and also through Kindle Unlimited. Every Sunday, I'll be releasing videos about my journey here on the homestead. Uh, that, and I've been doing that for just all, over three years now. Uh, that's on Sunday on this channel. Anyway, guys, have a fantastic day. And I will, of course, talk to you again soon.